guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a crazy huge book haul unboxing. I have so many things to unbox in this video, and they've been stacking up in my room for like several weeks now, and I really need to open some of them. <laughs> I have some books to show you all, I have some announcements to make, I have some giveaways in this video, and we have a lot of things to unbox. So I'm gonna keep this intro very short and let's just get into the books. So the first few books I have to show you all are from Book Outlet because I recently placed an order from them. And if you didn't know, I'm a Book Outlet vlogger friend, so I have a page on their website where you can see all of the books that I've ordered from them, and that also means that I work with them, so they provide me with a gift card to order some books and then show you all in my hauls. And and today I have five books to show you, I believe. But before I get into the books, I also have a really quick announcement that is super exciting because Book Outlet is finally doing the thing. But Book Outlet has finally announced that they will have free shipping, which is so, so exciting. I know this is something that a lot of people, myself included, have been waiting for for a very long time, so I'm so excited that they are finally able to do it. So the way that it works is that on US orders of $35 or more, you'll be given free shipping, and on orders less than $35, you will have a flat rate shipping price, which is very nice. And then for Canada, I believe it's $40 or $45 that you get free shipping. I'm not yet certain how they've decided to do the international shipping, but if there's any more information I can find out about it, I will leave it linked in the description box. Hopefully they're able to get free shipping or reduced price for other countries as well. That's what I'm really hoping they're able to do because I know that's a big thing for a lot of you when you're trying to order from them. But this is definitely a first step and it's super, super exciting. So I wanted to let you all know about that. As always, I will have a link to my book outlet vlogger friend page in the description as well as all of their other information, so if you'd like to go and check it out, you definitely can go and do that. But now let's just get on into the books. The first book I have to show you all is this copy of Twelfth Night from the Pelican Shakespeare, and it's just this super, super pretty edition of Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night is one of my favorite Shakespeare plays, it's my favorite Shakespeare comedy, and I don't own a single copy of it aside from the one that is in my Shakespeare collection, but I wanted a copy of just this single play, so I'm really, really happy to have this now, and I really want to try and get my hands on the whole collection. The next book that I got is The Princess Diarist by Carrie Fisher. This is one of Carrie Fisher's memoirs and I saw this one on Book Outlet and it made me really teary-eyed and I've always wanted to read it, especially after her passing. I love Carrie Fisher so much, I love Star Wars, and I'm really really excited to have this now so I can read it. I'll probably cry my way through it just because it's gonna make me very emotional, but I love the cover of it and like I said, I love her, so I can't wait to read this one. <laughs> the next book that I got from Book Outlet is Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. I don't know too much about this book other than it's based off of Russian folklore, I believe, and it's kind of like a fairy tale retelling. It's an urban fantasy novel that takes place in a fictionalized New York. I'm not sure if this is the first in a series or if it's a standalone, but I'm hoping that it's a standalone because I really just want to read some like standalone fantasy right now, so hopefully this one lives up to my expectations. And finally, the very last book that I got from Book Outlet is actually just a single poem, and that is B by Sarah Kay. I've talked about Sarah Kay a few times on my channel, but she is one of my all-time favorite poets, and B is actually my all-time favorite poem. It's also called If I Should Have a Daughter, and she's given it as like a TED talk that you can watch on YouTube. It's an incredible poem. It's so moving and powerful and beautifully written, and I just love her work so much. So when I saw that they actually had a physical copy of it on Book Outlet, I knew that I had to have it. The next couple of books I have to show you all are from my Fairy Loot and my Owl Crate unboxings for the last month. The first one is the one that I received in my Fairy Loot box, and that is Given to the Sea by Mindy. McGinnis. This is a YA fantasy novel that takes place in a world with rising tides and rising seas. I don't really know anything else about it, I just know that it has like that context to it, and that just sounds really really fascinating to me, especially in a YA fantasy setting. I've also heard great things about Mindy McGinnis's writing, so I'm very excited to dive into this one. This next book was included in my April Owl Crate unboxing, and that is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. I am actually currently reading this book and absolutely loving it so far. The Upside of Unrequited follows the story of this girl named Molly who is kind of afraid of unrequited love. She's had 26 crushes to date, but she's never done anything about any of them, so it kind of just follows her story as well as her family's as she's trying to deal with this. It's also fantastic when it comes to representation in so many different aspects, and I cannot wait to finish it and give you all my review because I know that this is going to be like one of my all-time favorite contemporaries. The next book 
I have here was sent to me by the publisher and it is Alive for a Lie by Robin Marrow McReady. I actually have no idea what this book is about at all because it was sent to me unsolicited and I had never heard of it before. So I'm gonna read the synopsis and find out what it's about. So it says, Kendra Sullivan loves taking pictures, but when a photograph reveals something unexpected, she sets out to investigate the situation. Before long, Kendra is torn between destroying her family as she's known it and keeping a very dark secret that might ultimately destroy her. This emotionally charged young adult mystery pushes the boundary between truth and deception and explores the consequences that arise when uncovering life-changing information. That sounds really, really cool. I don't really read much mystery and I don't know why that is because some of my favorite TV shows are mystery shows, but I really wanna try and read some more of it. So I think this will be a very fun place to start. The next two books I have here are books that I bought for myself because I just really, really needed these. The first one is this beautiful, beautiful paperback copy of Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Please just look at this. Is this not the greatest paperback you've ever seen? I'm in love. If you didn't know, I absolutely love Carry On. It's one of my favorite books and it's just such a fun, enjoyable read. And Simon and Baz are just pure perfection. And the fact that they are on this cover in this beautiful, beautiful fan art just makes my heart so happy. <laughs> the other super great thing about this is when you open it up, it's gorgeous on the inside and it has a quote that says, you were the sun and I was crashing into you. And then you open this flap up and there's the beautiful map inside, and I'm just so in love with the design of this book. So yeah, I already have the hardcover copy of this book, but when I saw this paperback, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> and finally, the last of the books before we get into the unboxings is the last one that I bought for myself, and another one that I'm currently reading, and that is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I'm almost finished with this book, and it is already one of my all-time favorite YA contemporaries. I think it's genuinely one of the most important YA books that is currently out right now. It has such a significant political message. It's essentially inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement and it follows the story of this girl named Star Carter who witnesses her friend being murdered by the police. It's absolutely fantastic. The writing is great. The story itself is just heartbreaking and devastating to read, but it's so important and I love it so, so much. So I can't wait to finish this one and also do a review on it because I just have so many feelings about it and it just makes me so happy that this book exists. So that is it for all of the books and now now we're gonna get into the unboxings because I have so many boxes here, like duplicates of some subscription boxes because it's been that long since I've opened them. Like, do you see this? Do you see? how many boxes I have? Oh no, they're falling. So we're just gonna dive right in. The first box I have here is this one that has these cool like book spines and stuff all around it and it's very pretty looking. It looks like wood and I'm pretty sure I know what's in here but let's open it up and see what's inside. So on the very top, it's wrapped in this newsprint tissue paper which looks very cool. And then the first thing I see is this glass bottle but it's all sparkly and cool. And then there's this card in here that tells you what the bottle is. It's a vessel full of charmed spray water, invented by dwarves as a tool to develop and practice magical skills within the supposedly safe confines of imagined space. So it's like this thing that's supposed to magnify magic. That's so cool. And then there's a note from the author D.E. Knight in here, so I'm not going to read this yet. But at the very bottom, there is an ARC copy of The Crowns of Crowswald by D.E. Knight. Crowswald or Croswald? I don't know exactly know how you'd pronounce that. It's probably neither. <laughs> but this is such a pretty cover. It's like little fairies trapped in these lanterns. I love this artwork. I'm gonna read the synopsis on the back and it says, for 16 years, Ivy Lovely has been hidden behind an enchanted boundary that separates the mundane from the magical. Sounds like the mortal instruments. <laughs> when Ivy crosses the border, her powers awaken. Curiosity leads her to crashing through a series of adventures at the Halls of Ivy, a school where students learn to master their magical blood and the power of Crowswald's mysterious gems. When Ivy's magic and her life is threatened by the Dark Queen, she scrambles to unearth her history and save Crowswald before the truth is swept away forever. So that sounds really, really cool. It kind of sounds like a mix of the Mortal Instruments and Harry Potter, and that sounds like a really fun time. <laughs> this is a middle grade novel, I believe, and I don't really read much middle grade anymore, and I've actually really wanted to, so I am very, very excited to have this now. So thank you so much to author D.E. Knight for sending me over this super magical box. I absolutely loved everything in it. The next box I have here is Nerdy Post, which is like a 
bookish fandom kind of subscription box. They don't include books in their boxes, but they include like fandom and book inspired items, which is very, very fun. They contacted me and asked if I would like to do an unboxing for them, and I gladly said yes. And I actually also have a giveaway that goes along with this box. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is follow the instructions in the rafflecopter link, which I will leave linked in the description box. The only rules for the giveaway are that you have to be 18 years or older or have your parents' permission because I will have to get your address. But essentially the only real requirement is that you have to be subscribed to my channel and I will pick a random winner and you will be shipped one of these boxes. But each month they change their theme and they send out different boxes and different stuff. And this month's theme, I actually don't remember what it is. I actually think it's Sarah J Mass, which you all know I'm like not the biggest fan of, but it really does have like some of the most beautiful fan art. So if there are like some cool stickers in here, I am not gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Okay, so opening this up, the first thing I see is this little packet that says Night Court Stardust, which Night Court, I know, is from A Court of Thorns and Roses. It seems like it's just like some powder, but it smells really, really good. It smells so jasmine-y, and I love the smell of jasmine. I'm assuming this is like some bath powder or something, but if this turns your bath water, like, sparkly like the night sky, that would be the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> the next thing that's in here are these three little pins that have quotes on them. One of them says, to whatever end. Another one says, I will not be afraid. And the third one says, until the darkness claims us. I think these are from Throne of Glass. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember the quotes from that book. <laughs> but these are very cute pins. The next thing in here is this beautiful little pin that has a stag on it with a crown. And this is so, so pretty. I don't know if this is from A Court of Thorns and Roses or from Throne of Glass, TBH, but um, it's really pretty and it kind of reminds me of Harry Potter, so I might just put it on my Harry Potter shelf. The next thing that's in here is all wrapped up in this plastic. So let's see what it is. Oh, okay, so it's two things. Let's see what this one is first. Oh my God, okay, this is actually the cutest thing in the entire world and this is an art print of my literal favorite character and the only character I like in Throne of Glass. It's a little art print of a Braxos, at least that's what I'm assuming. It's the Wyvern that Manon has and this is literally the cutest thing I have ever seen. I will legitimately put this up on my wall, I'm not kidding. I love a Braxos so much and this is just beautiful, beautiful artwork. The other poster that's in here is a quote that says you could do anything if only you dared. And it has this really cool topography with all these leaves in the background and I really like the look of this. It's very cool. Don't know if this is from Throne of Glass or A Court of Thorns and Roses. The next thing in here is this nerdy postcard which is literally like a postcard and I really appreciate that pun. It's very funny. But it's like a coloring postcard which is very cool. Okay so these are like those nail stickers and they have that rattle the stars quote on the tips of them and that's just so funny to me. Someone left a comment on one of my videos once saying that the the only thing consistent in the Throne of Glass series is the Rattle the Stars line and that was just so funny to me because honestly it's kind of true. But actually these look like really really cool and you can't really read what it says unless you like look up super close. And the rest of it is just like a galaxy kind of print and I really like that. The next thing in here is this little sticker that has like mountains and a starry like night and it says against all hope despite all odds and I really like the artwork on here. Again I'm assuming this is from A Court of Thorns and Roses. The next thing in here is this really really nice quality bookmark and one side of it says don't let the hard days win and then the other side says libraries were full of ideas perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. I know this is a quote from Throne of Glass and I'm assuming this is from A Court of Thorns and Roses but this is a super nice quality bookmark. It feels like those buttery book covers that some books have and it's so nice. <laughs> and then the very last thing in here is this other little mini poster and then the back of it actually just has all of the stuff that was in this month's box. But that is everything that was in this month's nerdy post. Like I said, even though I'm not really the biggest Sarah J Mass fan, I really like everything that was in here because it all kind of blends in and you can't really tell which fandom it's from necessarily unless you really know. And that Abraxos poster is genuinely the cutest thing I have ever seen. Probably one of the best things I've ever received in any subscription box. Like, no joke. That artwork is so good and I need to go find that artist and find the rest of their stuff because I love it. <laughs> and once again, just a reminder, if you want to enter the giveaway for next month's nerdy post box, then make sure to go and click on my rafflecopter link and enter the giveaway there. And I didn't mention this before, but all of my giveaway winners will be announced on Twitter a week from today. So just make sure you go and check my Twitter to see if you are the winner. All right, so moving right along, I have some more subscription unboxings for you all. The next ones I have here are actually two uppercase 
uppercase boxes. I have them for the past two months. This one is the April uppercase box and actually there's something else that was in the package that it came in because it doesn't actually fit in this bag and it's this beautiful Harry Potter journal. It's like a Hogwarts journal that has the Hogwarts crest on it and then the end pages are like this beautiful shiny paper and then it's just like this lined paper inside with the gorgeous like Hogwarts flag in the corner. It's just such a nice notebook. But now let's get on into the rest of the items in this bag. I'm gonna try and go through this fairly quickly because I still have a ton of other boxes to get through so I'm not gonna spend too much time describing each thing. The first thing I see in here is this magnet that says challenge resist defy and it's for defy the stars by Claudia Gray. So I think I might have an idea to what the book is. Oh my goodness okay this is so pretty. It's a bookmark but it's like one of those wooden bookmarks and it says um, not all who wander are lost which is a quote from J.R.R. Tolkien from Lord of the Rings and it has this beautiful like hot air balloon artwork on it. It's like watercolor. I love this bookmark so much. And then of course the book in this month's box is Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. I've never read anything by Claudia Gray before and I don't know too much about like the actual world of this but I've really been wanting to read some more sci-fi so I think this one will be a good addition to my sci-fi shelf. <laughs> and moving right along I have this month's uppercase box in this bag right here so let's open this up. Okay it's out of the packaging so now let's get on in the bag. So the first thing I see in the bag is this little tiny box. Oh my god this is so so cute. They're book earrings. It's literally like a stack of books and then a open book with glasses on it but my ears aren't pierced so I can't wear them but I love these so much. They're from the brand Yellow Owl Workshop so I believe I'm linked in the description box if you'd like to check out their other stuff. I'm definitely going to but I've never wanted my ears pierced more than I do right now because I really want to wear these. <laughs> the next two things in here are these little like patches like the things that people put on their jackets and stuff and one of them is this cute little kitty that's reading a book and I love this so much. If you follow me on my social media you probably know that I have a cat named Bo and she's like the love of my life and she's my child and this is just so cute. I'm obsessed with cats and I love this and I don't know where I'm gonna put it but I gotta find a place for it because it's so so adorable. And then the other one is this book with a rainbow on it that says get lit and that's just so funny. I seriously love these so much. They're so cute. And the book in this month's box is Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. I've seen this book a lot on social media lately. It just came out and this cover is super super pretty. This one's a YA contemporary I believe and I'm not sure what it's about at all. Okay so reading the synopsis it's apparently about this family who ends up winning the lottery and then their life completely changes and that kind of just sounds like a YA contemporary version of Lottery Changed My Life and that sounds like fun. So I'm pretty excited about trying this one out and seeing if it's any good. All right, so that is it for the uppercase unboxings and a huge, huge thank you to uppercase for sending me their boxes to review. I absolutely loved both of them, but especially this month's because some of those items were just so, so adorable and you're making me really want to re-pierce my ears. And now moving right along, I have two bookly boxes to unbox for you all. This one right here is the April bookly box and I also have the May one. So let's get into this one first. As they always do at the top they have the card for where they are donating their books to for the month because if you didn't know for every box that is purchased bookly box donates books to those in need and usually to books for africa and this month it is to rwanda the first two things i'm seeing in here are organic peachy green tea and chai classic tea they always include two tea bags and i really love trying different teas out and now i have so many of them the next thing that's in here is this little keychain that says i read therefore i am i really like that and it's very very cute as always they have a bookmark in here and this one has a quote that says it's a rare book that wins the battle against drooping eyelids. That's very very true and this is a very cool design. Oh my goodness this is so pretty. There are so many good bookmarks in all of these boxes. All of these subscription boxes are on their like A game when it comes to bookmarks but this next one is a golden feather. It's 18 karat gold plated bookmark. Not is very fancy and very cool but I love the little feather and it reminds me of the strange and beautiful sorrows of Ava Lavender and now I really just want to take like a cool Instagram picture with this and that book. And finally the book that is in the April Bookly box is Beautiful Broken Things by Kim Savage. So this book is about a girl named Mira who commits suicide and then she leaves behind these seven notes for her friend Ben to go and find and that sounds very much like 13 Reasons Why. So obviously trigger warnings for suicide but I'm actually pretty interested to read this and see if it's anything like 13 Reasons Why. I haven't read that book but I've seen the TV show and now I'm really intrigued to know like how similar it is to that story because it sounds very very 
similar. And moving right along on to the May Bookly box now. Once again, on the top is the card letting you know where they're donating to, and this time it is to Cameroon. The first thing I see in here is this bookmark that has this very cool artwork on it, and it says, I can imagine no greater bliss than to lie about reading novels all day, which is very true. That's honestly, like, goals. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. Okay, so this next thing is a USB fan. So you can, like, plug it into something, and then the top of it is, like, a fan. I honestly have no idea what the purpose of this is. If it's, like, really hot out and you're on your computer, maybe you can just, like, plug this in and have the fan work. I don't know. But this is really, really funny to me. The next thing in here is this little, um, keychain that has a bunch of hooks so you can, like, hook other things onto it. And it has this arrow, which reminds me of The Hunger Games and Katniss. <laughs> and then, of course, there are the two tea bags. This one is Earl Grey, and then there is Chai Vanilla Caramel, which is one of my favorites. And finally, the book in this month's box is The Other F Word by Natasha Friend. From what I understand, it is about these three different characters, or four different characters, who all have the same sperm donor for their father, and they all end up meeting him somehow. And that just sounds like a really cool premise and something that I've never actually heard talked about in a book before. So I'm assuming it's a contemporary about family and how we construct family. So I'm really, really intrigued by this one, and I hope that it ends up being really good. All right, so that is it for both of the Bookly boxes. But finally, we are moving on to the very last box in this unboxing. I know, because it's been so, so long, but this is finally the last one. And it's a pretty big one, but it is this box for The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. It's the 50th anniversary edition, and this was sent to me by Penguin Teen. So thank you so, so much to Penguin Teen for sending this my way. So let's open this up and see what is in here. Ooh, lots of stuff. The first thing that's in here is just this little note letting me know about The Outsiders, which I actually really don't know anything about because I never read The Outsiders and I legitimately have no idea what this book is about. I just know that it's very, very popular. Oh my gosh, okay, the first thing that's in here is this glass bottle of Coke with a little penguin teen tag on it, and the penguin is wearing a leather jacket, and that's so cute. I never drink soda, but I will sometimes if it's in a glass bottle because there's just like something about it that tastes better to me. <laughs> and then the rest of the stuff in here, there's this note that says, teenagers know a lot today, not just things out of a textbook but about living. They know their parents aren't superhuman, they know that justice doesn't always win out, and that sometimes the bad guys win. They know that persons in high places aren't safe from corruption, that some men have their price, and that some people sell out. Writers needn't be afraid that they will shock their teenage audience, but give them something to hang on to. Show that some people don't sell out, and that everyone can't be bought. Do it realistically, earn respect by giving it. S.E. Hinton, 1976, so I'm assuming that's a quote from this book. And then speaking of the book, they included a 50th anniversary edition of the book in here that still has like the glue stuck to the top because that note was attached to this. But I really like the cover of this and I love the gold on it and now I'm like super intrigued to read this book because I really don't know what it's about. And the very last thing in here is this envelope that says open for a sneak peek of exclusive materials that can be found in the 50th anniversary edition. So let's open it up and get a sneak peek. <laughs> okay so this is cool. It's a bunch of like old photographs. There's this one of this man and this woman, this person on a horse, there is a letter, there is another woman right here, and then these people also. I have no idea who these people are, but I'm assuming that they are related to the story. I'm kind of tempted to read the synopsis, but I'm also kind of wanting to just stay away from it and just go into this without knowing a thing and just figuring out what it's about. Um, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. But all of this stuff seems super, super cool. So once again, a huge, huge thank you to Penguin Teen for sending this my way. But finally, that is it for my ridiculously huge unboxing book haul for May. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any books that I mentioned in this book haul that you would be interested in picking up yourself, or if you've picked them up yourself already and you've read them, let me know any of your thoughts about it. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!